YouTube, my name's Lance and welcome to Bundy Bear's Shed. Well, today's clip is going to be about fitting an S61512 shore seal to a Ferguson TE20 axle. Now, the 61512, it's a, it's a seal that they've supplied that comes down over your axle, seals on the surface here, pushes into the outside housing here, and it takes away the need to go the long way with an axle seal, which is on a TE20 and a 35 at least, but I think these only fit the TE20. Um, you have to drill the collar here, split it, press the bearing off, replace the seal, put the housing on, press the bearing back on, and heat the collar to red hot so it comes down and shrinks on the axle. Now, a lot of people don't have that availability at their homes, um, homes or farms, and, and they don't have the budget to go into a mechanical shop into town and spend a hundred dollars an axle, I suppose, getting the um, getting the full kit done. And by bringing this shore seal out, Sparrow has made it so you, the handyman or the tractor owner or the farmer, many reasons of having a tractor, um, you can do this yourself. So what we're going to do is just just run through fitting this and have a chat about it as we go. And hopefully it's a good quick fix for you and um, and yeah you'll enjoy the little job right once you get the axle out you need to give it a bit of a bath make sure it's make sure it's nice and clean and in the groove here make sure there's no rubbish around the groove so we try and clean that out as best we can it shouldn't be rusty or anything like that and we need to Clean that out, make it as clean as we can. There's a little bit of rusty flake here I have to get out of mine. Okay, there we go, nice and clean. Now, this bearing here was lubricated by the transmission oil coming down through here. So, if we put a seal here to seal on this surface, there won't be any grease down here. So, what we like to do is just get a bit of grease. This is just Valvoline wheel bearing grease. The brand of the grease or the type of grease just doesn't really matter. Um, all we're doing is putting some grease down there just to lubricate the bearing through the rest of its life. Now, you don't even really need to pack it hard. It's a very slow moving bearing. I try and run it round with my finger and it sort of pushes down, you know, down into the bearing in between the rollers a little bit. And as soon as it gets a little bit of warmth to it, that will be fine. That'll, that'll seal up. Oh, well, that'll lubricate nicely. So, if you have a look down the spout there, you can see we've just got a bit of grease down in the bearing just to help it out. Now, this seal here has to seal on this surface here. So, it's important that you make sure that seal looks good. Have a look around it. Make sure there's no nicks, burrs, any rusty grooves, anything like that on it. And for this seal here, it'll come down over, over the seal surface here better if we put a little grease on there. So, so I just grab a little bit of grease on my finger and lubricate that lip. And a little bit there doesn't hurt. It's just to help the seal come down nice and even and not... Um, and not catch on anything. So we bring the seal down. As we bring it over to the seal surface, just give him a little bit of a turn. Just so you know the lip's not folding over. And you can feel that there, just wanting to sit down into the bearing. Now that looks like it's sitting just a little bit crooked. I'll sneak off and get a hammer and a punch and I'll show you what we do. This is the easy bit. 
Right, I've gone and got my knockometer. And what we look to do is just get this started. So we're looking just to get that front lip. Get the lip in the bearing groove. It looks a little bit on this one like we've got to chase it. Well here we go, I've got it started. <laughs> I had to chase it around around the mulberry bush a few times, but look it's come good. And I have a bit of pipe that I put down over it to just so I'm not hitting on the seal but Now we're looking at going nice and even all the way around. And it should go down and sit against the bearing. And I'm pretty sure we're there. No, I've got this side up just a little bit high. Just looking for that to be nice and level all the way round. You don't have to put any seal around here at all. And there you go, job done. So now this housing is fixed and the axle spins inside it and it shouldn't leak any oil on your brakes anymore. So there you go, worth having a go. Well there you go, that's fitting the S61512 shore seal. It's a good layman's job, have a go at it. Um, I do these videos to try and encourage people to work on their own tractors. Um, I've been doing it for a living for 40 years and I've enjoyed it and so a lot of these little jobs you don't need to pay anyone to do it, have a go yourself. Um, buy the parts off Queensland Tractor Spears or Sparex and, and hop into it. Um, Sparex sponsor my channel, they supply the parts for some of these little videos that we do um, just as an encouragement for people to have a go themselves and get into it. So that's all there is to it today. Um, plenty more videos following this one. Please like, subscribe, have a chat down the bottom and um, yeah, we'll catch you later. Eh?